finishing chores and helping out the neighbors. It's time to get dirty. Let's do it. We got some rows to win. We got some bales to make. It's going to be a good time. All right, let's go. This is episode four of Canadian Family Farms. What's going on, everyone? Dirty Randy here. And, well, we're another day on the family farm here. Let's get her started up. And uh, we're in, getting to be in winter, cold season, and yet we're still making hay. But we had kind of, kind of a late winter this year. Um, no snow just yet, but uh, possibly some on the radar for later today. So we got a boogie and try and get our work done um, as far as uh, making this hay goes. And then uh, once that's done, whoa, we can uh, maybe look at some other options. Uh, we do probably want to get the stones picked out of our field as well because we got to get some lime put on that hopefully before springtime. Um, and uh, well, just just some work to do because I'd like to get stuff planted more or less uh, as soon as we can. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's think about this. We want to come in the same angle we're going to leave at. So let's do this. We already got the tailgate down. Wonderful. It's, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're in, I remember this now. Okay. Well, fun time. We've managed to get ourselves out of there. And uh, we'll come back for that later. For now, we're going to hop in this big boy. And, well, let's just get right to it. Um, hmm. We're kind of blocking our path coming out the other way, so we're going to have to bang a Yui and get to it. We don't want to waste too much time today if we can. All right. There we go. Turned around. Oh, such a lovely morning. And uh, I feel like this tractor is going slower than I would want it to. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But... We'll make our way over there, and we'll get her done, bud. Alright, we've made our way over, and uh, we'll get this unhooked. I didn't have the hoses hooked up earlier. That's why it was going so slow, but I did pull over and uh, just experiment. That was the reason why we were not going that fast. So, oh, let's get this hooked up. Still waking up. But, uh, yeah, we got to get to it. Lots to do today, if uh, we can help it. Come on, Randy, let's go. Wake wake up. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey, you know? Hooked up. All right. Let's throw these big kilns on, because we're working near traffic at the moment. Can we get you unfolded, bud? There we go. Lovely. And uh, we're going to attack it. We're just going to try and get her done all of this work today. And, uh, of course, we don't have very far to deliver it. So that is kind of nice as well. Um, you know, depending on how many bales we get, it might not even be worth bringing the trailer over. We'll have to see. Because this is maybe the same size field that maybe even a little bit bigger than uh, our field. But either way, shouldn't take us too long, I'm hoping. So let's, uh, let's crack on. Let's get her done and uh, continue on with our day. Like I said, stone picking, hopefully to come a little bit later today at some point, um, or maybe even uh, some contract work, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, you know? All right, we're looking pretty good there. We got all of that grass turned into hay, dried up, rode up, and uh, now we can uh, pretty much just get the baling done 
and uh, of course we will make sure we're on the maximum bale size there because it doesn't really matter too much uh, we want to have probably as minimal bales as we can that way we have less trips to bring them over to the dealership there so that is the game plan it's about 10 30 right now so if we can wrap this whole job up by noon i would be a happy randy i'll tell you that so uh you know things are looking good we're minus about 3200 dollars or roughly something like that right now so though that's not great uh we're gonna be probably about plus three grand once uh, we're done this job and uh, we should be in a good spot to kind of go from there so uh that being said what's the easiest way to get all this put away um Part of me thinks just backing the wind rower into here is uh, the way to go about it. If we can make that angle, just... Oh, it doesn't want to fit through there. Boo. Uh, that door is a little bit lower, as you can see. It is what it is. I guess we can turn off our beacons now. Sorry if those were bothering you. But safety comes first. Know what I'm saying? Um, Alright, we're in. I just want to kind of straight not straighten out but just straighten into the angle where we're going to be putting this away in all right that's probably good enough uh oh that makes sense there we go and now we can turn around put this guy in here pull out the baler and uh, we should be in a pretty good spat this fits through here wonderful Lower that down. And go boom, 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 boom. And. Hmm. Are we going to be able to pull this out this way? I think that might be the way to go. And then we can just switch that up in a second after. Let's go like that. We're just reversing. No big deal. There we go. That'll do. Just go like that. And now we can, of course, hook it up the proper way and get to bailing. There we go. Oh. All right. One, two. Come on. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. We're all hooked up. Let's get to it. Um. Wish I had a front loader on this big boy, but we do not. Away she goes. We got we got a wheel loader and a telehandler. I suppose this is where it would be handy to have a front loader. Uh -huh. All right. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but we could actually just sneak right here. This is where we should have been putting our equipment the whole time. All right. Now we're turned on. Not in that way, just in the bailing sense, and. Uh, I'm being indecisive. There we go. All right. We're off. All right. We're making the 180 centimeter bales. And we're almost full already because we were, what, like 60, 70% full? Oh, no. When we started? Um, oh, we should maybe turn on auto drop, too. Alright, we made it back with our baler, and there's actually more bales out there than I expected. Well, if we can get this opened up, give ourselves a little bit more space to get in this direction. Still kind of a tight squeeze, but the baler's not that large. 
So I'm confident we can do it. Look at that. Like a glove. Alright, let's get her popped into position if we can. Whoa, that's a big zoom, Randy. What are you doing there, guy? There we go. That's looking good. Uh, oh, boop, 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 boop. Jump over. Uh, yes, hoses. Thank you. All right. Um, suppose. You know what? We already got this guy out. And we got a few tractors out at the moment. But we need some stones picked. Uh, so we're going to get hooked up at the very least. That way we can roll on into that once we are done with our bales. Um, or you know what? Maybe we hopefully could get some help. I don't know if Dad wants to do anything, but I mean, it would be nice, Papa. It would be nice indeed. Alright. Hoses are on. We're out. Looking good. No issues getting out there that time. Alright. I'm just going to park him up right here. And if someone wants to hop in and help, that'd be great. If no one does, away she goes. Alright, this is, uh, I think what we're going to take. I didn't even see how many bales are over there. Is it worth bringing the truck over? I don't know. Um, I guess if we need it, I'm sure that would be something my dad would be willing to do. Drive the truck over, that's not a difficult job, you know what I mean? This, uh... It's going to take a minute to get over there, but we'll be looking good. It's definitely taking longer to do this job than I thought, but that is okay. You know, hard work earning money's out here, all right? It's, it's not easy. All right, we made it here, and uh, let's try and get a quick count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Okay, so that'd be three trips of three if we're able to do that that's the key word if we're able to do that so uh these are big bales i don't know if we can carry three at a time uh you know that would be nice but i don't know if that is able to happen let's see we can go like this that's fairly heavy but i think doable if we organize them, we might be able to do this. You know what I mean? But we gotta get to some flat ground ish. Right there. Boom. And then we can put a third on top, do that two more times, and then we just have to come collect all of them. You know what I'm saying? Alright, well, that's the game plan. Let's do it. Try and get her done. All right, we got her all done, and I guess he was really only expecting three bales out of there. So the other six we actually got paid for, um, which is pretty crazy. So we should be able to accept the contract, or complete it as well, and get even more money. Boom. Bailing completed. Let's collect. You'll love to see it. All right, we just collected another $6,900, $6,900, and uh, we're up to 5800 now in our bank account after all that. So even making money off of the bales and completing that job, we're only just breaking into positive ground there. So we definitely need to try and keep getting stuff done over the winter if we can do that uh, because we need to start making an income, you know what I mean? Uh, thankfully, we didn't have to load up too much. We did a pretty 
okay job getting everything loaded up, uh, brought over with the telehandler there. Seems like stacking them up by three actually ended up working. We did lose one, but uh, we made it right in the end. Might have wasted a little bit of time today hooking up our trailer, but uh, who knows? It was a preemptive strike. It's all good there. Uh, I think someone did hop in uh, the stone picker as well, so that's great. And uh, that just means that's a little bit less for us to have to get done. Uh, although we still need to spread lime on there, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. It's just one last job, like I said. And we can get this guy put away. Snow's coming down. It's feeling like winter time. You know what I'm saying? I think we might pick up this job as well um, and just get her done. It's, not, it's literally right next to the field we were just doing. So I think it might be small enough to get done today. And we don't need to lease or rent anything to get it done either. Um, but we need a big tractor. All right, we're in the Magnum here, seeing what we can get done. It's a big tractor, but uh, this is, of course, a big disc hero. So uh, hopefully we can get her done pretty quick because the field itself isn't that large, um, you know, especially for the size of uh, the machinery we got at the moment. And you know what? The sun's coming down. The snow is coming down. And it's just feeling like a good time this winter. You know, we're staying active, we're staying productive, we're making a little bit of money. Of course, we, we need that money because uh, <laughs> times are tough out here. We don't have a lot. And if we want to get some help outside of the family or buy anything, we, uh, we can use the cash because operating costs are on us. And uh, all of our businesses are not really functioning too much at the moment. So we need to, uh, we need to get her going. And everything we can get helps. So this is the field in question. Get this guy on foldage. He's looking good, bud. And yeah, they'll spread some light on the situation. All right, let's just get to there. Drop her down and uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Feels good, looking good. And hopefully we can get this done before the snow covers the field. Even so, it, it won't be too crazy. I'm sure we could uh, get through it with this guy. Alright, we give ourselves a little bit of room to turn around and then we can head on down the long direction. And, you know, we're making good time. I don't think it'll, it'll take us too long. I'm confident we can get it done before sundown. One more, just because. And let's get her done. Alright, alright. All right, well, we got her done. It's dark, but we got her done. So I will take it. You know what? And it's probably not even as late as it uh, appears to be because, I mean, it's wintertime. It's snowing out, so it's, uh, you know, it's darker earlier in the year. All right, let's not swing into that. It's a little bit slippery out. And uh, we can get this guy put away. And I would be honestly surprised if anyone is still out working that field with the stone picker. Um, you know, it was hard enough just to get some help, uh, but this late in the day, I don't know, it seems unfeasible. Oh, look at that, we nailed that. Good job, me. Uh, yes, I'll untouch the hoses, thank you. Alright, and we can probably go put this big boy away. Just back it up. Wonderful. There we go. 
Looking good, buddy. Alright. Let's just, uh, see if we can do a better job of putting this away. You know? Uh, and I'm almost thinking we don't even want to put it in here. You know what? We're, we're not. It fits, but it's a pain in the buttocks. So we're going to go throw it over here. Come on, we can do that, truck. You were made for this. Just a little bop. You're good. All right. You can go right here. This is where the bales normally go anyways. We just don't have a heck of a lot at the moment. So trailer can hang out there. Wonderful. Get the bad up. All right. All right. All right. Let's just go have a quick rip over and check out that field. See how uh, see how it looks. All right, so far, so good. All right, I'm seeing some stones over there, but uh, no tractor. Oh no, there is a tractor. Oh my God, who's still out here? Somebody's working, working late at night. Whoa. Yeah, I mean it's slippery. Cool. I mean, hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it for sure. All right, well, you know what? I'm not going to stop them if they want to do their thing. Uh, why not, right? So, uh, you know what? Before we go too far, let's just pull over, get paid. $3,000. Definitely could use it. And, uh, well, we're looking good now. Up to $8,800. So, that's much better than it was before. We'll probably be around $6,000, maybe $5,000 uh, come tomorrow. But we'll have to see uh, how much our expenses are. I know they're about 2,500-ish, maybe uh, a month. So as long as we're making at least that, we can cover it. So uh, I feel a little bit better with some cash in our pocket now. But uh, we we gotta make her home, you know. We'll see what we can do. It's the last month of the year in December here. So coming into a new month, a yeah, new year. And, uh, well, it should be a good one, a, a great new year for us on the, on the family farm here. And just turning stuff around should be a good time. All right, this seems to be our parking spot right there. Looking good. Let's get her shut down. And, uh, well, since it's December, I think we're actually going to pop in here for a nice family meal. That's the, the bonus of being home. So I'm going to have to shut her down there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. All right? Bye-bye.